Could I get another advance, Mr. Nandi? Just make sure it's properly logged. I'll note it next to the others, sir. Greetings, and welcome to Monarch Stellar Industries, producers and purveyors of the finest Saltuna and Halcyon. What can I do for you today? Now, uh, what was that exchange about? Are you having money trouble? Or is he not paying you on account of how he tried to fix the thing his own self, and busted it even worse, and then said you wasn't fixing it fast enough, so he's docking your wages again? Not that I got any prior experience with such. Not at all. Mr. Nandi treats us all right and pays us well. I just spent most of my paycheck on Raptid on Acid. Do you normally blow your money on Raptid on parts? Laws, no. Sometimes it's canid teeth or mantis warm wings. Whatever Sebastian has in stock, really. Why are you buying so much from Sebastian? So I can talk to him, of course. He doesn't get going about much else. I reckon she's got a little bit of a squish on this fella. He's sort of the strong, silent type. Unfortunately, my apartment's kind of filling up with his stuff. And some of the neighbors are complaining about the smell. Huh. Well, maybe I can talk to him for you. Would you? I'd appreciate that so much. Uh, maybe don't tell him I wanted you to ask. Just that you met this really nice lady named Celia, and she seemed... Oh, Mr. Nandi's doing that thing where he breathes through his nose real slowly. I'd better get back to work. Wait, I'm curious. Where, what, what do you say in Sebastian? He doesn't talk much, but he's got this quiet intensity, you know? Like there's stuff going on inside his head that you have no idea about. Plus... He's got great legs. It's hard to find a man who doesn't skimp on lower body exercises. You really want to be with someone you can't talk to? You think that's what I'm looking for? <laughs> You're funny. Huh. That's, uh, that's all I need to know. Thanks. Thanks. Sorry. Thanks, Celia. Sometimes I get carried away. I'll talk to you later. Uh, I would like to... Do a bit more exploring before we speak to this chap. Get a bit more of a background on the town, you know. Notes for revision. Your report looks excellent. The numbers are front and center and you highlight our recent production gains nicely. One small adjustment. Could you increase the page margins by 17.3%? I want them to match the formatting of our other reports for maximum readability. Sanja. Here to do business with Sanja? Maybe. Put that away. You're oh. making me nervous. So, sorry about that. Note to Otto. Otto, I have been checking your hours and you're well past due for some time off. When you take a few days, you spend entirely too much time staring at that terminal. Sanja. Oh, doesn't sound too bad. Summary report on conditions within Stella Bay. Productivity has continued to improve since relaxing MSI's old restrictions and making allowances for employee benefits such as time off for illness and personal leave, 24.9% reductions in shift length and 52.3% more positive feedback. Fishery output is up 15.2% this year, showing a continuing but slowing growth trend. Decreased gains compared to previous years are likely due to the deterioration of materials and morale. Occasional shortfalls in our supplies and the gradual loss of personnel to marauders, 7.2%. Hostile wildlife, 10.3%. And iconoclast recruitment, 17.4%. Reconciliation with the board remains a long-term goal, but the immediate concern is defending the city from hostile elements. Repairing damage to the city walls consumes approximately 32.8% of our annual budget. The best solution would be an influx of skilled defenders and weaponry, but given the aforementioned factors and their effects on the local population, such a solution remains unlikely. Working slogans. MSI, our profit margins are stellar. MSI Saltuna, 43.28% more nutrient-dense than the leading brands. 
Stella Bay, a tolerable center of commerce in a hostile and chaotic galaxy. Okay. Yeah, it's back outside. Uh, all right, let's speak to him. Well, new business turns up at last. Celia, didn't I tell you our new statistics-based advertising model would be a hit? That you did, sir. How can yield improvements of 26.7% not quicken the pulse? How can 32% cost savings not moisten the loins? You've often posed these very questions. Clear my schedule. This newcomer has a meeting with me. Yeah, uh, that's very generous of you. Celia, will you make a note of that for my self-review? Very generous. Noted. But not so generous I can't drive a good bargain. Now, who sent you? Rizzo's, perhaps? Or Auntie Cleo herself? Uh, I'm just looking for the information broker. Hiram? Why, he's probably still out at Devil's Peak. Not that he's had the courtesy to notify me, at any rate. But if you're here for him, I suppose that means you aren't here for Saltuna. Yeah, uh, yeah, no, it could, could always be for both. Now, now, there's no need to humor me. I'm used to this particular letdown. Seems like you're having a rough time, Mr. Sanjar. Are you doing quite all right? Oh, don't worry on my account. This is merely the latest in a long line of professional erotic and athletic disappointments. Now, I had hoped that livening up our advertisements with enticing figures would draw the other corporations back to our bosom, but it seems we're back to the drawing board. Yeah, what... what? Well, if you're free of other corporations, why would you want to bring them back? Surviving alone isn't as easy as it looks. Thanks to the so-called Hazard Clause, Monarch has been cut off from the board's resources and protection for ten years now. now we've kept ourselves in business by trading with individual corporations, but given the off-the-books nature of those transactions, such arrangements are precarious. Uh, yeah, but it sounds like you're freer than anyone else in Halcyon. Why not, why not embrace it? You talk like Graham. Freedom always sounds nice, doesn't it? It makes a rather pretty slogan. But if you sit down and tally up the costs, how you provide for yourself in the absence of aid, how you protect yourself from a hostile galaxy, it starts to lose its shine. So, what do you mean to do about it? Well... Mr. Nandi here has a rather ingenious plan to get MSI restored to the board. On our terms, mind you. But will that help the people here, Mr. Sanjar? Keep them fed and safe? That's precisely what I'm trying to do. And if our advertising scheme hasn't borne fruit, then perhaps it's time we took matters into our own hands. Yeah, this lady knows what's going on. It's true, our Celia is an alarmingly competent middle manager. At any other company, she'd be wasted in data entry. The plan she refers to is a two-pronged approach, and the first part involves seeing Stellar Bay properly defended. Yeah, uh, fine, but how do you mean to do that? With a Bolt 52 cartridge, of course. If you can get us what we need to rejoin the board, starting the Bolt 52, We'll be able to become one of the most productive and secure cities in Halcyon. And you'll have a powerful ally on the board. Huh. Interesting. Yeah. Uh, so, wh wh where do I find one? In the old arms building southwest of town, which used to be part of Stellar Bay before we had to move our walls in. These days it's overrun with marauders and raptodons. Then I guess I'll get you both 52. Do be careful. I've lost more than a few people to Marauders and Raptodons out there. Oh, and while you're at it, there should be a terminal in the arms building with some dangerous information. Perhaps you could delete it so it doesn't fall into the wrong hands. 
Uh, well, yeah, before I go, I need to ask you about something. Hopefully, what can I do for you? Uh, oh, yeah, I met, I met Grim, the land impact guard. I see. And was his delivery of the MSI authorized greeting up to snuff? He did a bang up job, yeah. Well, that's excellent. I'll see that your feedback makes it into his review. What else can I do for you? Um, yeah, no, I've got to go. I'm not too bothered about that. Yeah, it's interesting she mentioned Grim. Someone was, like, just talking about that in passing on the Groundbreaker. Interesting. If you want to talk to... Wouldn't mind smelling like Saltuna if we could sell more of it. It's the Saltuna factory, is it? Okay. Do you want an upgrade, Parvati? Wait, do I want an upgrade? Yes, yes I do. Oh, Parvati can have one too. Yeah, I have to get you some special stuff, shall we? Oh no, Sam's coin is permanently attached to his frame and cannot be removed. Okay. Ooh. Fifty-five bypass mash random keys. Oh. Okay, Braxton, the fish tank, uh, the fishing tank twenty-three A are looking a little lumpy. If you're not going to make it in, it, that's fine. But you have to let me know that so I can stay on top of the doses. Okay. Uh, Mr. Nandy, we really need to talk about the tuna situation. I had to let four batches rot in the warehouse over the last two months because we're not finding buyers. I know the situation with the board puts us in a tough spot, but we need to start thinking about how we're gonna, going to keep Stella Bay afloat if we can't get sales up. Brax, seriously, where are you? You've missed three shifts. This is getting ridiculous, even for you. Where's our hack at? 49... Oh, it's going to be really close. I wonder if I, if I take this armor off. Is that going to help? Now yeah, can I do it? Oh. oh that's one short. Are you kidding me? Ah, that's unfortunate. Okay. Well, if we get a, um, 
level up, we'll put one in there. That's just going to open that, is it? Bay ruins. Interesting. Hmm. So we've still got to explore a bit around here. Okay, let's go explore the rest of the town. Then I think we'll come back to there, see what that is. point to stay out of her way. Ooh, you're the new face. Wow, you must be up on all the latest tossball games. So who do you follow? Wait, don't tell me. You look like a Hammersmith Thunder fan. No, Glacial H Mammoths. Uh, yeah, yeah, they're, they're, they're all pretty great. Aren't they just? When I get to worrying about the Marauders outside, the Raptodons chewing at the walls, I just turn my transceiver up to drown it all out. Most of the time it's static on account of the frequency being clogged up, but sometimes it's toss ball. So, what can I do for you? Now, uh, you said you were having trouble receiving the Tospel game transmissions? Graham's always filling the airwaves with this propaganda. Like it's done him any good. All it means is the Tospel games get to us in fragments. Makes them real hard to watch. Okay, well, I'll keep my eye out for him. I would quite like to see some of this Tospel. That sound interesting. Fifty-five again. Nuts. Great new account. Oh. Running the warehouse, she can certainly pick up her own. Don't be surprised. But Brack's missing, she's working doubles and needs a little edge. 
Very well, dearie. But you stop by any time you like, hmm? Thanks, I'll, uh, I'll keep that in mind. Run, dude. Run. Sorry, I've got to get back to the warehouse. Okay. Hello, dearie. Why, well, I don't believe I've seen you before. And with sweet cheeks like those, I'd remember. What can Auntie Abigail do for you? Uh, who's Velma? She works over at the fishery next door. Quite the hard worker, but she's got a bit of a temper. Uh, temper? Why, just the other day, I heard her shouting from here. I can't imagine what set her off. Oh, but here I go again, running my mouth when it's none of my business. Was there something else you needed? Are uh, you in charge of handing out medicine? Yes, indeed. Someone's got to keep Stella Bay's people healthy and energized. So you seem excited about your job. Oh, but I am. I get to see plenty of my neighbors here, and I do dearly love a little gossip. Right, so nothing for now, thanks. from up here. Whoa, 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 eh. Whoops, doodle. Ah. Out of way, Sam. No, eh. Back, back to our exam. Just go away. Come over here. Thought I might have soft logged it there for a second. That. Nope. Someone's been killed. Uh, who's saying that? Is that you? What's I going think on? I'm gonna be sick. Are you alright? No! I just stepped in a dead man's blood. And I think one of the flies landed on my mouth. If you're going into the apartments, 
Do not go into the lower one on the right. That's where the body is. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to go contemplate a hot shower. All right. This one then, would it? Oh, oh, sorry, sorry. Just spoke me, was all. Body bag dispenser empty. Please replace sacreal before disposing of any corpses. So there's some struggling here. Several ragged outfits, all of the same cut and colour, were stuffed into this suitcase. Tossable betting slip. This betting slip lists some increasingly bold wages made for a team called Mostly Colonists. It's from left field Tossball betting. over there, weren't we? Alright, let's go investigate. Well, explore this place first. Mr. Nandy, sorry to bother you about this, but something foul is leaking from the apartment upstairs. I don't know what Celia's keeping up there, but she works for you, right? Do you think you could talk to her about it? Isaac, can you please try to keep your windows shut? As I've tried to explain, Leaven, especially when you've got food out, invites mantis swarms, and a mantis swarm infestation is everyone's problem. Braxton, I know you keep odd hours, I know because I've heard you coming and going at all times of the day, night, haha, <laughs> but maybe you could try to close your door a little more quietly? I have rather sensitive nerves, and every time I hear your door, I think we're in the middle of another Amber Heights. I guess this is Celia's room up here, Whatever is it? You do, don't mention Tossball to Isaac. You'll never hear the end of it. You know, I haven't seen him in a while. If you got him stuck in an hour-long rant about mostly colonists, you'd be thankful. No matter. Laura. Oh, you startled me. Don't sneak up on a person like that, huh? Uh, didn't mean to scare you. I'll go. Alright. There's that bet in place. Game? I'm afraid the transmission's still pretty bad. What can I do for you? I found this betting slip in a dead man's apartment. Any idea what might have happened to him? Poor Isaac. I was wondering why I hadn't seen him in a few days. 
I'd really like to help. Isaac was a sweet fellow, even if he did have terrible teeth. I'm listening. Right. So the thing with Isaac is he didn't know where to stop. He'd get stuck on something, and he just couldn't let it go. Sometimes he'd drink Purpleberry Punch by the leader. Other times he'd keep betting on a losing team. Started owing the wrong people money. So who did he owe? I don't know for sure, but I saw Elijah and his buddies pushing Isaac around. They're hooligans from Fallbrook. They sweep into town, drop supplies off behind the warehouse, and spend the rest of their stay getting rowdy over tossball games. They usually loiter in the alley behind the yacht club. They're not allowed in the bar anymore. I bet you anything Isaac ran into trouble with one of them. Hmm, thanks for the tip. Mr. Sanjar will be pleased to hear about it when you're done. I know he gets fed up with the Fallbrook bullies, but there's not much he can do. Interesting. All right, well, let's go. There was another building that we started to go in. Let's go check that out and then we'll head back over there. Good day to you. Good day to you. Whoa, by the stars, my poor heart. I just about pissed my jumpsuit. Uh, sorry, I didn't mean to start with you. Most people don't. Besides, this place is enough to try anyone's nerves. Uh, how's that? Where should I begin? With the oversized mantisaurs? Or perhaps the rap spewing acid at our walls? The board was right. This place isn't fit for human habitation. And I was a fool for staying. Why did you decide to stay in the first place? Sanjar, of course. He had all these glorious ideas about how he'd run Monarch. Rest periods between every work shift. No shift more than ten hours long. It all sounds wonderful, until you realize there's only a few centimeters of repurposed steel between you and the deadliest creatures in the galaxy. Uh, you've got a real negativity problem, Chef Raymond. I'm not even finished. Add that to the supply shortages, thanks to being cut off by the board, and I dare say we're no better off than the lowliest Spacer's Choice Enclave. I ever thought about leaving, Stella Bay? Only every day. But in case you haven't noticed, we don't exactly get ships on a regular basis, yours notwithstanding. And even if I did scrape together enough to buy passage out with sublight, which would mean reaching Fallbrook without getting eaten, shot, or dissolved into green goo. What then? Uh, you forgot stabbed. That's also a possibility. Well, thank you for reminding me. As if I weren't already destined for an early grave. Uh, okay. I'm off. Lucky you. I'm trying to cheer up, eh? Vortex Mace. What's the sound of that? Ooh. Pretty good. Keep that in mind. I want to give this science weapon a shot, though. Well, a swing. Alright, let's go find these ruffians. Back by the yacht club. Well, well. The only new folk I ever see in town are sublight runners from Fallbrook. But you don't look like one of Catherine's. What can I get you? Uh, I'd like to trade. All sales are final, unless you threaten me. I'm kidding. Don't threaten me. 
maybe I want to threaten you. What do we got here? Okay. Bastion Ad Ah, okay. Uh, where is it? Ah, that'll be there then, would it? Wrap mask oh, there and painted eyes, right here. Hello, stranger. Can I interest you in raptodon tongue, or maybe some canid toenails? You look like a man who's looking for some mostly fresh animal parts. Uh, let's see what we have. Oh, good. Celia hasn't come by in a few days, so I haven't sold much. Just all this weird stuff, huh? Alright, well. You look like a man who's looking for some mostly fresh animal parts? You couldn't be more wrong. Uh, yeah, why, why would I want any of that? I don't know. Celia usually buys whatever I have, and Mr. Pickett seemed real interested. So I thought maybe I was onto something. Mr. Pickett? Franklin Pickett from Edgewater? That's him. He'd been here years, but he always talked about going back to Edgewater one day. Parfella, you know who he's talking about? Sure. Mr. Pickett used to run the community center outside Edgewater. He had this grand idea to make it a museum for Halcyon life. Yeah, As my yeah. dad told it, Mr. Pickett was always going on about getting a Manta Queen for the last display. He left the veil? Gosh, years ago. He came to Stellar Bay just before the board cut us off. Ended up stuck here. He was always real interested in our monsters. Manta Queens, especially. Have you seen a Manta Queen? Sure. They're real big. Hard to miss them. Where'd you see one? Well, I could send you to the same place I sent Mr. Pickett. But I haven't seen him in a few weeks. To tell true, I'm starting to get a bit worried about him. Captain, can we look for him? I'd feel awful if somebody from home was in trouble and we didn't do nothing. Tell you what. I'll tell you where I sent Mr. Pickett if you promise to look for him. Help him out if he's got himself in trouble. Fair deal? Sure, I'll keep an eye out for him. All right then. Leave town through the southern gate. The one right here. And head past the abandoned ruins. Last mana queen I saw was in the wilds out that a ways. Could be Mr. Pickett still out there too. Um, let's talk about Celia. Huh. I haven't seen her in a few days, but I've been meaning to ask her how that rapted on acid is working out. I hope it's working okay, because no one else really seems interested in this stuff. Uh, she likes you. Nice of you to say. I like her too. Uh, no, I mean, she really likes you. And I gotta admire anyone with her passion for canid hides. But you don't have to butter me up. Uh, yeah, yeah. Since you've got so much in common, maybe you should take her out on a date? Wait, I see what's going on. She put you up to this so she could get a discount, hmm? Oh, no, that's not it at all. She's smitten with you. You smited her. Smote? Smoot? Don't get me wrong, I'd like to give her a discount. She's a real fine lady, always talks nice and slow, so I understand. But if I give her one, I won't hardly make a bit, on account of no one else having any use for raptodon tongues. Uh, don't, don't take my word for it, spend some time with her, I promise she won't ask for a discount. You sound pretty sure. And she is awful nice. Give her a chance. Give yourself a chance. Take her someplace nice. Okay. I'll do it. Once her shift ends, we'll go someplace nice. Maybe to Chef Raymond's. That's the spirit, Sebastian. Be yourself. You and me, Captain. I'm not sure Miss Celia knows him too well. But we can hope, right? I want them to be happy. Sure, yeah. We can certainly hope. 
Um, right, let's... Ah, oh, this is here, okay. That's, that's handy. Have you talked to Sebastian yet? What did he say? Um, yeah, he said he would go on a date with you. Okay, but how did he say it? Did he sound excited? Or like he was just agreeing to it? Was he like, yay, a date with Celia. I've secretly been waiting for this. Or was it more, sure, I don't have anything else going on. Uh, he, he likes you, Celia. Just don't ask him for any discounts. Not to worry. If I never buy another Raptodon tongue, it'll be too soon. Ah, look at me going on. I'm sure you've got other things to do, and Mr. Nandi's giving me that back-to-work look. Anyhow, thank you. Uh, I'm not quite done with you, actually. Thanks again for setting me up with Sebastian. Is there anything else I can help you with? Yeah, Grim asked me to check with you about his Tostful poster. You know... Sending you is the first bright idea I've seen from that man, because I told him to stop bothering me about it a week ago. I still don't know anything about it, but if you want to help him, Velma's the one to ask. She's in the warehouse. But I'll warn you, Grim wore her patience thin a long time ago. Thanks, I'll, uh, I'll do that. Uh, oh, I guess we must have missed Velma in there. Right, so where's the... Yacht Club. Is it over here? Oh, that's like the crap. warehouse, isn't it? It's oh, like it can't be. It's got to be this way. I some mask from Sebastian. Oh, there's our ship. Yeah, okay, good. So, alley behind the Yacht Club. I wonder sometimes what they're doing on other colonies. Uh-huh. Think they're watching the same serials, following the same tossball game? Please, I need your help. I can pay. I'm kind of busy at the moment, lady. I'll be right back. There we go. So, Elijah. This ain't your alley. Who said that? You? Shut up, Bertha. Hey, what are you doing here? This is our secret alley. Berta already pissed by those crates to market. I know you murdered Isaac. Listen, that purple tooth twerp had it coming. Not that anyone has proof. And not that it's any of your business. I'm making it my business. Oh yeah? What are you saying exactly? You've bullied people long enough. If you know what's good for you, you'll clear out and never come back. Wow. Most of the pencil pushers around here cave as soon as you look at them funny. Fine, we're going. This ain't worth it. Cowards. I mean, I would like to fight them, but uh, I don't know if that's going to cause problems in the town, you know? Right now, what's uh, what's up with you? Oh, thank you for stopping. Everyone acts like nothing's wrong. Like my little boy isn't at risk of being eaten by some vile creature. Please, you have to help me get my little Tucker back. He ran away and is going to get himself killed. Oh, I, I just know a raptodon is melting him with acid as we speak. Your child is missing. Where where did you last see him? Oh, I just knew you were a good person. Agnes, I said, this is the man to save your little Tucky. And I was right. He ran out into the wilderness a few days ago. I warned him about the raptodons, mantisaurs and marauders, the toxic sulfur pools and poisonous plants. But he didn't listen. Oh, law, Captain. A youngster won't last long in a place like this. Please, can't we help? Please, won't you go and find my boy? Ah, uh, yeah, I'll help you find him. Thank you. Oh, I know he'll be safe now that someone's able to fetch him home. You look for him in Amber Heights, you hear? It's down the road southwest of town. I'm sure he made it that far. I just know it. And if you find any of them iconoclast indoctrinating my boy, you punch them in the mouth. Tell them what I think of them luring little boys away from their mamas. It's immoral. 
But if I find out he wants to join them and has a good reason to, then you know that's gonna that's gonna change things. Nor highly efficient auto mechanical fine tuned to neutralize noxious contaminants on Halcyon's market. SAM units are reliably certified at killing filth dead. We gotta be put in this universe to do more and kill. We gotta. A fine day for business, isn't it? Anyway, what can I do for you? Uh, Isaac Rose is dead. I found the people who killed him. But that's terrible. What happened? There was Elijah and his hooligan friends. I ran them out of town. I'm glad to hear you've dealt with them. They've been causing quite a bit of trouble around town. I've been consumed with other matters of late, but I would have dealt with them. Eventually. If you say so. He really was on my to-do list. Still. Your intervention in the matter is much appreciated. Please consider this payment for your services. Alright. Okay, let's go see if we find Velma. And then we can get... I guess she's going to be on the warehouse floor, is she? Velma, you in here? Oh, there she is. Look, you can tell Catherine the new shipment will be ready when it's ready, all right? She's welcome to pack boxes herself if she's in such a hurry. Uh, take it easy. I'm just looking around. Well, if you're that friendly about it, then you definitely aren't one of Catherine's sublight toughs. My mistake. I hope you can forgive my temper. This job has been running me ragged lately. First, my autoloader foreman stages a walkout, and now my chief pescatological health manager is missing. Uh, more importantly, I'm hearing about Grimm's poster. This again? I swear, this is the last time I contract for any special requests. You can tell Grimm his poster came in. You can also tell him I got a better offer for it. So now it's going to Nell. That about cover it? Um, surely we can work something out here. Sure can. If you want to pay me more than Nell's offering. Uh... Yeah, fine. Damn right can afford that. Will. Hopefully that'll be the last I see of him for a while. Take the poster then. And if I never hear another word about it, it'll be too soon. Something else on your mind? Uh, let's talk about your missing co-worker. Braxton. He's in charge of getting the fish fat, but also making sure they don't get too many tumors. He's a real wizard with pharmaceuticals, but he has creative notions of working hours. Comes with living in a free colony, I guess. Uh, hmm. Don't you have rules about that sort of thing? We're keen on rules for rules sake around here. Means Braxton skips work sometimes, but it also means no company boss is telling me when I can take a shit. Since you don't seem to be constrained yourself, maybe you could check up on him. He lives in the apartments. Tell him Velma said to get his lazy ass down here, or she might start noticing those extra drugs he's been taking from supply. Okay, you said Braxton's been stealing drugs? Stealing's such a nasty word. Let's call it skimming. And yeah, let's just say astrobiotics we use for the fish would get used a little faster on Braxton's shifts. Now, uh, awfully nice of you to not say anything. We're not like those corporate towns where you get fined for sleeping on the wrong side of the bed. Besides, the Spacer's Choice stuff we use is cheap enough. And Braxton knows how to get the salt tuna, fat and mostly tumor free. Let's, uh, let's talk about Caleb. Unless you're here to tell me he's agreed to do his job again, I've got nothing to say. Um, mm, they're hard workers, aren't they? Don't they deserve some compensation for that? Hard workers? They turn dials and flip switches. The machines do all the actual work. I'll wager she don't pay those folks that maintain the mechanicals decent, neither. 
Caleb and his crew have it better than anyone else around here, I'll tell you that much. Hmm, well, he says he needs a raise to keep up with the prices right there. Tell him to complain to Catherine in Fallbrook, not me. Sublight's demanding more money for the same contracts, which means we're all in the same boat. If Caleb wants to keep this job, he'd better get back to it. I'm about ready to hire sublight contractors at this rate. Are you willing, will, uh, are you willing to meet Caleb halfway? For running me ragged while he takes an extended leave at the bar? Not on your life. Well, I think, uh... Hmm. You know, I know you're taking percentage off the top, Velma. What would Sanjar say if I told him? Same thing as me. Where's your proof? Because I know no one's been poking around my terminal lately. That terminal over yonder? Just as a... hypothetical. Nothing to see on my terminal, of course. Because I've done nothing wrong. Uh-huh. Well, Sanjar's going to notice your shortfalls before long and hold you responsible. Maybe so. But I bet you Caleb runs out of bits first. Then he'll have to come back. He says he's got his crew over. Could be he's all talk. But if the money's real, I bet you he keeps it at home. Near the diner. You'd steal from your own people? That's low, man. That's business. Someone's got to keep the lights on. Yeah, let's talk about something Fine else. Fine by me. Uh, who's this Catherine you mentioned when I first came in here? Sublight boss out of Fallbrook. Handles most goods that come in or out of Stellar Bay. Has a mouth like a ground six spacer. I'll, uh, I'll talk to you later. So, yeah, this terminal. Is that the one upstairs? I don't think we can quite get in there yet, can we? Uh, right. Let's go. Let's go down that hatch. I want to see what's down there. We'll clear up a few other things around here. Uh, eventually. But I am curious. No, is it just taking us outside, is it? Yeah, okay. Alright, so it's another route out, but why is this an interesting hidden path? Doesn't really seem that special. Okay, let's just clear up a few more things in here and then we'll uh, head outside. I'm thinking on my dad today. Do you miss Mr. Hoff on set? While sand units are mass produced for economical purposes, the overall quantity is limited compared to other auto mechanical product lines. Because we understand our clientele is exclusive and discerning. I guess you probably never met him, huh? Well, that's okay. You got us. We'll be your dad now. Have you had time to check on that poster yet? I keep wondering if it's come in. There you go. Would you look at that? The Rizzo's logo is nice and bright, and you can still smell the ink on Mr. Holcomb's signature. I can't thank you enough. Still, you can have the bits I was going to spend at the bar this week. And you know what? Take my old toss ball blocker, too. Never get the chance to use it these days. No, we lost 100 bits, maybe. We got a toss ball blocker, and we got the points we need. Okay, so let's get um, hack hack up. Let's 
do that, and then we'll do one in... Yeah, one in there. Plus 50% science weapon damage, that's pretty good. Oh, nice, now it's opened up these ones as well. Oh, we'll look at those later. Um, there we go. Yeah, okay. Right, now we've got some other stuff we can do, haven't we? So we can now hack some of these terminals. Um, there we go. Yeah, okay, we'll speak with Nyoka too. That's outside. The office terminal, okay. Braxton's apartment, we need to go back there. That's Fulbrook. That's outside. That's outside, okay. So. There's the apartments, aren't they? Let's see if we can find Braxton. I read this, right? Yeah. Wait, was that? No. Watch your step if you venture outside the walls. Noted. Hey, you're still dead, aren't you? Guess who Celia brought home the other night? Finally, now she can stop buying that junk from him. Might improve the smell. <laughs> yeah, but the noise. Ah, cool. Hey, Braxton. You again? You've really got to stop doing that. There we go. Um, yeah, I'm looking for Braxton. Have you seen him? Braxton. I've never even heard of a Braxton. Got nothing for you. Sorry. Relax, no one's in trouble. I'm just looking to have a friendly chat with him. Oh, in that case, he told me he was delivering to this house in the ruins south of town. Whole family had fallen sick and he had some meds on hand. So maybe look for him there? That's all I needed. Reminder, Junkie. If you let your Sam unit be eaten by wildlife, it voids the warranty. Okay. Right, so I think we're nearly done. Okay, let's go back to the uh, warehouse and hack this terminal. I hear those rich people in Byzantium pay a handsome bit for rap musk. Oh. oh, there we go. There we go. Braxton hex files are filled with Saltuna breeding charts, various pharmacological formulae. I'm using some Weissel team to prefer Boston beans over plain Borst vest. Velma's personal files are a morass of supply contracts, order forms, spreadsheets, and financial records. Careful study of her financials reveal that for the past several years, she has been slowly siphoning money from her operating budget into a personal account. The theft is cleverly hidden. Individual instances could be excused as rounding errors or mistakes in simple arithmetic. The sheer volume of occurrences, however, indicates deliberate intent. Gotcha. Where was that other one we tried to hack? I'd give you a friendlier welcome, but I'm up to my elbows and salt tuna guts. Gosh, this old girl's in a rough way. Even old Bess in Edgewater was in better shape than this. Hey, 
You want to try running a cannery with obsolete machinery? You be my guest. Um, sorry, ma'am. I wasn't trying to be rude. It's just your flanging apparatus isn't making a strong flange, so your sealer isn't sealing right, and... Oh. I see what you're saying. Huh. I'll have to try that. Anyway, what do you folks need? Uh, oh. Let's talk about Caleb. Unless you're here to tell me he's agreed to do his job again, I've got nothing to say. If Caleb wants to keep this job, he'd better get back to it. I'm about ready to hire sublight contractors at this rate. Uh, I saw your accounts. You've been skimming money for years. You can afford to pay more. Yeah, and did you miss the part where I'm working doubles to cover for everyone who decides not to show? I'm the one who keeps this place running. That money's mine, one way or another. Sounds remarkably like Caleb's argument. <sighs> Fine. Tell Caleb he and his team can have their raise, but I need them back here immediately. Something else on your mind? Nope. Talk to you later. Okay, so I think we'll tie this one up, and then we're uh, then we're then next time we'll be outside. Um, hopefully shooting things. All oh, right, we need to speak to you, don't we? Okay, we'll do that as well. Why don't you grab a chair, sit a spell, and revel with us? We need to talk about. Got an update for us? We can't afford to sit this out for too much longer. Know what I mean? Uh, you've got your pay raise. How'd you manage that? Wait, never mind. If I question it, it'll turn out not to be true. Besides, I never follow how you got Velma to part ways with a bit card of her own accord. As agreed, here's your compensation. Ain't a lot, but I hope it shows how much we appreciate all you've done. Now me and my friends here better get back to work before Velma blows a fuse. All right, that's and uh, ladies, hop to it. Now then, near okay. And the little bastard's slippery, right? On account of its blood, so it's it's sliding all over the place, trying to crawl away. Getting so I can't tell the tell the blood from the mud. But I gotta get in there, get right in that baby rap's stomach and dig it out. If so much as a drop of stomach acid got on that medallion, I shit, I don't know what I'd do. Might be I'd hunt every dam wrapped out there. Right. What are you staring? Wait. You ain't from around here. Who are you? Uh, who are you? Name's Nioka. I'm the best big game hunter on the planet. You're also the loudest big game hunter on the planet. And the drunkest. Shut the fu- Fair point. I deserve it, though, on account of being the best. My dad always kept his firearms and liquors in different lockers. Said it wasn't safe to mix them. Out here, if you ain't a little buzzed, you're liable to notice the stench of life. The grit in the air. The dust in every drink and the blood on every boot. Well, it's nice to meet you, Nyoka. I am Joker. Ooh, charmer. Don't get a lot of that around here. Folks mostly grump at me about how I should join the MSI payroll. Nice change of pace. Buy me a drink, will you? Sure. Barkeep. Outstanding. What are you doing in Stellar Bay, stranger? Uh, I'm told you can help me find an information broker. Well, 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 well. Let's get down to brass nuts then, shall we? Brass... Wait, that ain't it. Brass rats? Let's... Let's talk business. I'm headed back out there after I sober up. You want a guide sooner than that? You'll have to get me something to clear my head. Uh, hmm. So, what do you need? Outstanding! 
Our dispensary here maintains a stock of, uh, well, I don't rightly know what they are. Steroid or caffeine something? Pills. They're very good. I'm cut off for the month on account of meeting one just about every damn day. But I'm sure you've got your wily ways. Fetch me one and we'll be all set. Uh, you mean caffeinoid? That stuff's just a stimulant. Well, they work. We got a deal or what? You won't find a better deal in Halcyon than our special one-time offer for a refurbished sanitation unit. Remember, if it's dirty, it's a job for Sam. What in the... the thing talks? Yeah, uh, don't, don't, don't worry about it. I've got some caffeinoid here. Will, will that work? Perfect. Give it here. Whew, that hits the spot. Right in the, uh, oh, no, there it is. There it is. Yes. We're in business. Let's go. Well, glad to have you. Great. Where to? Let's find the information oh, broker. Hiram? I ain't checked in on that man in an age. He's running the giant radio tower we lovingly call Devil's Peak. We'll be going south and west, mostly along the road till we're past Fallbrook. Out there, there's a western slope that'll lead us through some, uh, some fun. You like hunting, right? That's fun. If you're more of a spelunker, Rotting River will take you into the mountain caverns. We can discuss options when we get closer. That said, uh, three's already a crowd. I don't mind waiting somewhere until you got a spot open. Um. Hmm. Yeah, Pavati, can you wait on the ship? We're gonna need New Yorkers help for now. New customer profile created. Greetings, user Nioka. Okay, no bite. What's with the auto mechanical following you around? Warning. Sam's cleaning solvent has been known to cause cancer in laboratory sprats. Please stand clear when stream is engaged. Huh? Uh, okay then. Yeah, you, you get used to it. Don't worry about it. Okie dokie. Uh, what am I doing here? Yeah, okay, let's have a look. Very nice. Pretty good. Uh, what am I little? To land. And here... Oop. There we go. Uh, there you go, lying, are you? Yeah, we'll take damage to creatures too. Very nice. Okay, next time. So we've got a load of stuff to do out here. What should we... Might go for that one actually, yeah. All I need to know is that they're on the other side of that wall. Okay, got quite a lot covered there. And next time we are once again out into the wild well, not once again, but we are out into the wilds of Monarch. <laughs>